Many at the Green Horizon Summit, the result of the U.S. election offers some hope for the future and the prospect of a new president who will have Washington rejoin the Paris Climate Accord on the first day of his administration. One in every 85 people in England has coronavirus, but it's not all bad news because the R rate, that number that indicates the spread of the virus, is going down. People were on board with the government messaging. Now, it's not really the case, so what do they do? Do they toughen up policing? They're not really keen to do that. Introduce a curfew, not really keen to do that either. And as you just saw from my piece there, the latest attempt is this message, act like you already have the virus. So trying to instill a kind of natural caution in people. I'm gonna go and try and find some food. My hunt for breakfast has not been very successful because everything's shut. What I would really like is one of these, coffee but I've been told that there isn't anywhere in the terminal you can get a coffee, so what I've had to settle for is this. So a few pieces of advice. I think the first one would be on masks. Do remember to bring your own mask. I saw one person forget theirs in the airport. Staff weren't that happy. Crichton is self-isolating. He's totally cutting himself off from other people because his health conditions put him at greater risk. That's why we can only speak to him safely on the iPad. So that news that many people have been waiting for, Christmas is not cancelled and it will not be on Zoom. But really, that's as much as we got for now. One of his supporters here is Yanis Varoufakis, the renowned Greek economist. The extradition of Julian Assange would be a major blow against citizens' rights. One way to measure what industries shape the world economy is to look at the US stock index, the Dow Jones. Now, in 1970, half of the list was made up of manufacturing. Mining, chemical and oil companies made up 27% of the list. When those restaurants closed, almost 90% of this London butcher's business also looked set for the chop. But what about the restaurants they supply? How have they been coping and how will they cope as they look to reopen? Today's journey starts in Inverness and I'll be getting the Caledonian sleeper from the northeast of Scotland all the way down to London Euston. It's approaching 8 o'clock, I'll be allowed to get on the train soon, so let's go. A new increased charge of almost $19 is meant to encourage people to find environmentally friendly ways of getting into the city centre. A bike is the only way to get around London, really. <laughs> he said that soldiers will be deployed to protect places of worship and also schools. Now, this attack happened earlier on Thursday in a church in Nice. According to the International Federation of Robotics, sales of robotic services topped $17 billion in 2019. For those Christmas plans, we can expect an announcement possibly tomorrow or later in the week. Juliet, back to you. Jemima Walker, thank you.